There's a great video that's been going around for the last few months in which Eric Hovind is trying to explain the presuppositionalist argument to an audience, and he gets his ass just completely handed to him by a kid in the sixth grade. And this kid shows that the problem of the presuppositionalist argument is really rather obvious. I made a video in which I pointed out that presuppositionalists seem to assume that people with a scientific worldview are making absolute knowledge claims about the universe when they are in fact not. A scientific worldview is one in which all theories about the nature of reality are provisional. No scientific theory claims to be the absolute truth about objective reality. In response to that point, Hovind says this. The proof of God is that without God, you can't know anything. And that's exactly what we've seen here is we've seen somebody say, I could be wrong about everything. They've given up knowledge in order to deny the God that they know exists. You say giving up knowledge, I say having the humility to understand that one's senses and reasoning are fallible and must therefore always be open to criticism. No, I'm saying if you don't know everything, then you can't know anything to be absolutely true. Yeah, that is precisely the scientific worldview, and it is for that reason that skepticism is so important. Unless you have revelation from somebody who does know everything. And that somebody that does know everything is God. So and young man... I don't know, so that means if I don't, don't know everything, that, that means that I don't know if God exists. Ah, and there we have the ponage. Since it is the case that we are all fallible, even if God exists and is sending us divine revelations, we can be entirely mistaken about them. It is entirely possible that what we think is a divine revelation is an illusion, a delusion, or a simple hallucination. How are we supposed to tell the difference? This is what makes skepticism necessary and faith counterproductive. Chad, if I knew everything there was to know, if I had all knowledge and you didn't, and there was a rule that said, I am never, ever, ever allowed to tell a lie. And I said, Chad, I know everything, I'm not allowed to lie, 2 plus 2 equals 4. Could you now know that to be true, even though you, Chad, don't know everything? If the only reason that we believe that 2 plus 2 is 4 is because some divine being were revealing it to us, then we could not, in fact, be certain about it. It would be possible that we were receiving or interpreting that revelation incorrectly. The reason we are certain that 2 plus 2 equals 4 is not because it has been revealed to us by God. The reason we believe that is because any other answer is unfathomable. 2 plus 2 equaling any other number simply would not make sense to us. We believe that the answer is 4 because that is the only answer we can even comprehend. Because we are fallible human beings, divine revelation, even if it did exist, would not help us be any more certain about anything that we believe. The only good reasons for believing anything are practical, pragmatic ones. Hovind claims that materialists and skeptics have given up knowledge. On the contrary, it is only those who have the humility to understand that their reasoning and senses are fallible that can achieve the closest possible thing to true knowledge. Skeptics formulate beliefs that, when applied to practical circumstances, actually work.